Hi everybody, Jonathan here with another Twin Motion video, and today we're going to be looking at panoramas in Twin Motion and specifically the Twin Motion Cloud and how panoramas work on that. It's a great way to present your ideas as you'll see in the video. I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. So what we're going to do now is take a look at panoramas and panoramas have one advantage over the presenter file in that basically we can kind of set up the panorama view. So I'm just going to go to my media doc and create my first pano. So to do this, you want to be kind of standing in a position where you can basically pan around in a full 360. So as you can see, you get a kind of full 360 degree view. Okay, and what we can now do is we can basically just move to another position. Let's kind of uh, move over here a bit more rapidly, just sort of fly over this pool a bit. And let's kind of set up the view here. I'm going to click M actually to get down to eye level. So I think what I do is look this way, create a panoramic that way, and let's just do a little test of the view that we're going to get. That looks good. And let's go inside the project, maybe over to this side, and let's have another panoramic here. And I think we'll get one more outside. Now, because I'm in uh, walking mode, I can't actually go through the door. So I'm just going to click M so I can actually get outside. Do remember that with, when you're in drone mode, uh, you can kind of free ride anywhere. When you're in pedestrian mode, if you like, then you actually are locked into what sort of barriers and things like walls and windows. So we'll create one more panoramic there. Uh, I think that's okay. That's probably enough, actually. We can kind of use those four. Now, the real beauty of the panoramic images is this. Um, we can refine each one and we can basically use the path tracing. So let's enable path tracing with uh, medium settings. Great, okay, there we go. Let's do the same on all of these, in fact. Let's enable that path tracing. I do wish Twinmotion would add a button maybe where you could select all the images. Uh, let me just try that now. You can only select one at a time, which is a shame. It would be nice to be able to select them all and enable the path tracing on all of them. But I can understand why that is being done. Um, what we'll do actually, we'll just pan around to a slightly different view and just click update first. Now you do have all the other settings, things like sky domes uh, and everything else in there. So if you did want to render this particular one with the sky dome, let's try that, then go for it. Um, so I've got the sky dome loaded in. I'm just gonna go up to my settings. Let's load in something a bit more atmospheric and drag that uh, rather low and cloudy sky. Now just watch the impact this has that's quite a big impact on the environment. But when you're really, really gonna notice that is once you actually get to put the path tracing on. And that will give you a really nice sort of set of lighting conditions uh, related to that sky dome as well. So that can be my nighttime image. I'm pretty happy with that. Again, let's put that onto medium settings. Okay, good. So we've got our four panorama set up. Now what we can now do is go to the media dock and we can go to something called a panorama set. And this basically works in the similar way to the presenter file in that we can basically drag down uh, a number of the panoramas that we would like to create in our set. So let's just drag all of those down. And as I say, if you're actually trying to view these live on screen, you're better off doing this without the path tracing on because obviously the path tracing kind of updates as you go. But if I do just click um, to my full screen mode for a second, you'll see that I'm in that panoramic mode. And okay, yes, it's not working very well because it's attempting to do the path tracing while I'm actually moving around. So I recommend you do a panorama set without the path tracing, maybe another one with. But what I'm interested in is to click onto export. Let's uh, disable the uh, media presentation there. And let's now enable my panorama set. And the good thing is, look, as well as exporting still panoramas, I can actually start those exports up to the Twinmotion cloud, and I'll be able to view those panoramas on the cloud, uh, just like we could with the presenter file. So it's gonna take a little while to render, so let's pop back and revisit this a bit later on when that's rendered up. Okay, so here we are in Twinmotion. Uh, the upload to the cloud for my panorama set has now completed and was successful. So once again, we just open the Twinmotion cloud and that will link into our browser. And as you can see, as well as the uh, presentation that we did earlier, here is our panorama set. So let's click view 
and have a quick look at this uh, as it loads in. Now, the other benefit of the panorama set is you can see they load really, really fast, actually. Um, so a bit quicker to load than the presentation. We get the greeted with the controls again. But the main benefit you're going to get here, although it's just a panoramic image, you can zoom in and zoom out a little bit. But it's to do with the quality of the image. Um, and you can see that even though we're viewing this on the cloud, the quality of the path traced image is absolutely fantastic. And we've got the uh, ability to click on the next view to skip to the different view. So I really, really like the way it does this. Um, it's nice the way it does it, kind of almost like a little animation between the two images and gives a really good impression actually of how they link together these hotspots. So let's go full screen once more and um, pop out the side panels. And let's just start again from the beginning. So there we go, all the way back to the start, panning round, link through to the next image. Uh, have a look at that view. It kind of tells the story and that's what I like about the panoramas. So again, the main benefit here is that you can use the full capabilities of the path tracer in the panoramic images and you still get a little bit of zooming and zooming out so you do get some good resolution. But those are the main benefits really. Uh, other than that, you know, you can't really change many of the controls and the settings because these are pre-rendered images unlike the presentation which is rendered on the fly. And that's the biggest difference. So guys, what do you think about the new capabilities of the Twinmotion Cloud? Is it something that you've tried? Uh, are you looking forward to trying it in the future? Uh, I'd be really, really interested to know what you think. So with that, um, I'd like to say thanks for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody. Now I just wanted to take this opportunity to highlight my book, Revolutionize Your Rendering with Twinmotion. This is a beautiful 320 page fully illustrated PDF and ebook that's available for you to buy in uh, on the store. And it features some of the best featured artists from all over the world. So if you want to learn more about Twinmotion, take a look at the book and I really hope you enjoy reading it. And thanks for watching.